Hi. Every year during the uh, week leading up to Christmas, it's part of my devotional practice to spend some time reflecting on uh, the verses of the hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And I thought that this year uh, during Advent, I would share some reflections on those verses with you. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel is actually a relatively old hymn. Uh, the version that's in our hymnals goes back to a Latin language worship book published in Cologne, Germany in 1710. That book was called the Psalteriolum Cantionum Catholaricum, and I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. The roots of the hymn, though, are actually older than that book, um, much older. The roots of this hymn uh, go back to images for Jesus used in something called the O Antiphons. Um, the O Antiphons have been used in the service of evening prayer during the week leading up to Christmas for over 1,200 years. Um, and the O Antiphons themselves are actually drawn from imagery used in the prophetic books of the Old Testament to talk about the long-awaited and much-anticipated Messiah. For over 3,000 years then, these images have been part of the vocabulary of our faith. And this year I thought I'd share some reflections on them with you. Um, I'm planning to use the verses of the hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, um, but I want to take them in the order that the O antiphons use them, uh, those antiphons that go back 12, 1300 years. Um, and that means that Today, December 17th, we'll be reflecting on the image of Jesus as wisdom, wisdom from on high, the embodiment of wisdom. O come, O wisdom from on high, embracing all things far and nigh. In strength and beauty, come and stay. Teach us your will and guide our way. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. So what is wisdom? It's knowledge, certainly, but it's more than that, isn't it? Um, wisdom carries with it the, the implication of, of good judgment, of knowing what the right thing to do is. Um, wisdom means knowing what is right and good and proper. And because in the Old Testament, there's no separation between knowing, believing, and doing, Wisdom means knowing what is right and then doing that right thing. Ultimately, for Israel, wisdom means knowing what is good and right and pleasing before God and then doing that thing. Many of us have heard the story of King Solomon when he succeeded to the throne after his father David. And God came and spoke to Solomon and asked him, you know, ask of me anything that you could possibly want, and I will grant it. And Solomon, very wisely, asked for wisdom. Uh, he asked God to grant him wisdom as king. And God was very pleased with that answer and promised not only to give Solomon wisdom, but to bless him in all sorts of ways during his reign as well. Wisdom, then, means to do the right thing before God, to do the thing that is pleasing to God. And being wise, as the Old Testament understands it, is a matter of being attuned to and in step with the mind and will and heart of God. So what then does it mean to call Jesus wisdom from on high? This image recognizes Jesus as the incarnation, the enfleshment, the embodiment 
of the heart and mind and will of God. Want to know what God cares about? Look at what Jesus cares about. Want to know what pleases or displeases God? Look at what pleases or displeases Jesus. Want to know what it means to live a godly life? Look at how Jesus lived his life and listen to what Jesus said about living a godly life. Want to know what it means to be attuned to and in step with the mind and the will and the heart of God? Look to Jesus who came to show us what that looks like and who we are promised will come again to lead us into all wisdom. When we sing those words, O come, O wisdom from on high, what we're really saying is, show us what is good and right and proper before God. Show us what is the will and the mind and the heart of God and show us how to live our lives in step with that. Certainly something worth reflecting on as we lead up again to the great festival of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. O come, O wisdom from on high, embracing all things far and nigh. In strength and beauty come and stay. Teach us your will and guide our way. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Amen.